hi everyone so uh, in this uh, video we will be discussing uh, uh, a new uh, project uh, brain tumor detection using uh, CST studio software so uh, I just plan to complete the entire project in three parts of videos and the first one we will be covering uh, the system model how we can able to detect the uh, here tumor inside the brain and how the, uh, the, the overall picture of this particular project will be discussed and after that the second part of the video will be exactly the antenna design we will be looking for a UWD antenna so ultra wide band so we will design a micro strip patch antenna in, in, in either in a rectangular or a circular kind of antenna to get a ultra wide band and after that we go for the third part where uh, the, the breast, uh, sorry, uh, the brain. So the entire uh, phantom model will be created inside the CST insert, and we will simulate the created uh, brain, uh, the entire head phantom against this antenna, and we will be, you know, uh, detecting the brain, uh, brain tumor actually. So that's what the overall plan. So uh, let me explain this um, overall idea first. So as you can see here uh, in this uh, particular slide, you can see that uh, uh, the phantom. So this is just for uh, the mimic. So this will be the head phantom actually. Okay. So let me draw it first. So this will be the head phantom, and So this will be the head fandom. Uh, we will be designing this in CST itself using multiple layers and exactly uh, we are facing you know the head fandom will be placed some distance between the antenna okay so uh, this is exactly the antenna so basically we will be looking at UWB okay UWB so ultra wide band so ultra wide band we are choosing micro strip antennas okay so micro strip and especially we will be uh, going for rectangular base design rectangular patch or uh, we will be looking at a circular patch so uh, we will try uh, which one will get uh, better performance yes of course both can able to but uh, i already posted one video regarding uh, uh, uwb antenna using a rectangular patch so this time we will try using a circular patch Okay, the circular patch will get more uh, more uh, gain and uh, directivity especially. Uh, so, so this uh, design will be covered in uh, the second video actually. Okay, and so the first, so the first primary thing is we need to design a phantom model and also uh, we need to design uh, uh, the antenna also. Okay, so once uh, we design these two models in CST. In the same environment actually in not different file and the antenna will be designed and the same environment we will be designing the phantom also and we are keeping a small distance between the antenna as well as the phantom and you can able to vary the design uh, i mean you can able to vary the distance it can be a near field or fan field so you can able to vary the distance and you can able to you know see the difference in the response as well so how far you can able to detect uh, this particular uh, tumor so that is also possible and you can able to do on body also by keeping the distance as zero you can able to simulate for on body detection also you are actually touching this particular antenna on top of the head so that is also possible and and you can able to rotate this antenna throughout the you know uh, around the head you can able to you know initially maybe you are you instead of a single fire you are actually creating a, a, a spear and you are facing an antenna here right you can able to place the same antenna in this position the same antenna in this position and the same antenna in this position so all the position is possible and this is actually monostatic and you can go for multi-static as well keeping eight antennas around or uh, six antennas around is also possible okay so i will create a separate video regarding this multi-static by static and all so today we will be doing I mean uh, in the next part of the video we will be looking for uh, monostatic kind of uh, detection okay so uh, this is all uh, so we will be simulating this uh, head phantom against uh, you know this antenna against the phantom model and 
we will see the S11 value actually. So the reflection coefficient. So uh, we we try two types of uh, two kinds of simulation. The first one is this phantom model with the tumor and without tumor. So with the tumor we will do the simulation first and we will also see without tumor and we will see the response like if you plot uh, the frequency uh, versus uh, reflection coefficient S11 then there will be some difference between these two graphs. Okay, so we can able to interpret whether the tumor is present or not. So uh, that is what our aim. So this is the idea behind the brain tumor detection initially with respect to and this uh, especially this variation in the uh, reflection coefficient is due to the uh, electric properties of the different layers present inside the fandom uh, i mean we you can see here we have multiple layers cf dura bone fat skin and finally we place a tumor so these are the different layers included in the phantom model so uh, each layers you can the, you see that uh, it's half a, a different permittivity value and different conductivity value so if you look at uh, each and every layer like bone fat skin we can see that the different permittivity and different conductivity value so uh, because of this uh, variation in the permittivity and conductivity actually these two are the electric properties of these different layers so because of the difference in the electric properties like permittivity and conductivity this variation actually provides a significant change in the s11 value okay so that's what we are looking into and we will try to uh, find out uh, the presence of tumor inside the fandom so that's what the entire idea and uh, in the next video we will be seeing uh, the antenna design as well as the uh, fandom creation head fandom creation also so stay tuned and uh, and watch the upcoming video as well and uh, if you like this video regarding the antenna design and other research area related to the antenna so kindly subscribe my channel and also share my videos to other research community as well thank you for watching thank you